What's going on, Facebook? What's going on, Instagram? Happy fucking Wednesday. I am fired up today. Just pumping myself up before this live. I'm about to have a fire, fire live for you guys. Fire live for you guys. If you guys are watching this on the replay, I want you guys to hashtag that replay in the comments so I know you guys were here listening. If you weren't here live and you're on the replay, hashtag that replay so I know you guys are getting some value from today's episode. Hunter, I see you. Steve, I see you. What's going on, boys? Happy fucking Wednesday. I'm about to spit some fire on this podcast. I am super fucking stoked for this one. We're going to be talking about breaking through to that next level. We're going to be talking about how pain causes breakthroughs, how being broken causes you to break through to that next level, to get to that next level, whether that's in your relationships, in your business, in your body, in your mind, whatever it is, this is going to be the podcast that changes your fucking mindset. This is going to be a podcast for anybody, anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care how successful you are. This podcast is going to change and revolutionize the way that you think about your life. Pain causes breakthroughs. Pain drives you to see what's on the other side. Pain causes you to get to the other side, to break through. What's going on, gorgeous? How's it going, sweetheart? If you're having a great day at work, I'm fired up today. I'm fired up today. I'm feeling so called right now in my heart. I'm feeling called to deliver this message to you guys. And I'm going to tell you right now, you do not want to miss this. If you guys have to hop off live, if you're just joining in here, if you have to hop off live, I totally get it. But I really want to see you guys back in here on the replay or watching the podcast, listening to the podcast, because this is one you do not want to miss. You do not want to miss this. I was tearing up before I got here on live thinking about the fucking opportunity that I have every day. I get to wake up and I get to change lives. Think about that. I get to wake up, follow my calling, and change fucking lives. That's my life, and I fucking love it, and I feel so damn blessed to be here today. If you guys are feeling blessed, I want to see hashtag blessed in the comments. Facebook, Instagram, I want to see hashtag blessed in the comments below if you know that you're blessed. I want to see it. Hashtag blessed in the comments. I've been staying so hydrated. Hashtag blessed in the comments below. I want to see that you guys are listening. I want to see that you guys are, are receiving today. I want, to, I want to hear it from you guys. Hashtag blessed in the comments below. This episode is about to be fucking legendary. Absolutely legendary. If you guys are just tuning in, I want you guys to tag somebody in the comments below. Someone that you know needs to hear this message. Someone that's going through the shit right now. Someone who's going through pain, struggle, adversity, discomfort, right? That's facing something every day. Tony, my man, what is going on, bro? Happy freaking Wednesday. Tag somebody that you know needs to hear this message. Someone that needs to hear why they need to break the fuck through. You need to get through whatever you're going through so you can get to that next level. There's always a next level. And of course, I heard from my mentor, with every level comes a new devil, with every level comes a new devil. So right now, we're all facing something. We're all encountering a devil. And we need to overcome that. Cole, what's going on, my man? Happy freaking Wednesday, brother. We need to overcome that devil. Life is all about stages and phases. And we progress and we grow. We grow through what we go through. I'm sure you guys might have heard that before. We grow through what we go through. And I feel blessed to have the opportunity to be able to wake up and to grow through my pain, to grow through my struggle, to, to grow through my adversity, to grow through the things that are making me truly relentless, to allow me to have the confidence and the willpower and the drive to lead a community of men to be better men, to be better people. And to lead their families and to lead their children and to lead their girlfriends or their boyfriends or whoever it is in their life to be better themselves and to take what they learn in my community onto bigger and better things. That's what we're about in the relentless life. That's what it's about to break through to the next level. It's about having a relentless mentality. That's what it's about. So before I get too excited, because I do this all the time. My ADHD, I see squirrels all the fucking time. 
Before I say too much, it's got a hair in my mouth. Before I say too much, I'm gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go live with the podcast. We're gonna get this shit going, rocking and rolling. I'm just waving everyone in here. If you guys are just tuning in, I want to see how your day's going, and I want to see you guys tag someone that needs to hear this message of breaking through to the next level. You guys got a taste of my energy. As soon as we go live, I'm going off. As soon as we, as soon as I go live, I am going completely off in a good way. Steven, my man, I was waiting for you to show up, brother. As soon as I go live, I am going to go off live on the podcast. We're live here on Facebook and Instagram, but I always give it a countdown and then I run my podcast. So I'm, I'm fucking stoked for this one, guys. I am fucking stoked to be here. I'm stoked to be alive. If you guys, Steven, if you're just joining in, Tony, you guys tag someone that needs to hear this message. I'm calling you guys out, Steven, Tony. Kate, if you're at work and you can hear my message, I, I need you guys to tag somebody that needs to hear this message. In fact, I didn't even, I didn't even pin the episode. Let me pin the episode. Episode 85, breaking through. Breaking through pain. Guys, this one is going to be in fucking sane. Insane. I'm telling you right now. Let me pin this comment. Pin. And like I said in the beginning, if you guys are going to be tuning into this, if you can't stay for the whole podcast and you want to come back, make sure if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, wherever you guys see this post, you hashtag replay. And then also, if you if you want, you can check out the audio version, the podcast, which is available pretty much Spotify, the Apple podcast app. Um, you can check it out there too, but make sure you guys do not miss this episode. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, I was about to cry before this episode. That's how called I feel to be here right now. Steven, thank you, brother. I see you listening. You're out there working, bro. Thank you for those tags. Yes. Yes. I know Tanner. I speak to Tanner a lot. I definitely think he needs to hear this one. This episode's about to be fucking lit. So without no further ado, guys, we're going to drop the podcast. We're going live in three, two, one. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Relentless Life Podcast. I'm your host, your coach, your man, your mentor, Chance, and I am so freaking excited and ecstatic to be here with you guys today. I'm bringing the energy, I'm bringing the fire, and I'm going to be delivering a message that every single person listening to this live or this podcast or this replay needs to hear today. I'm here to tell you guys that this message is going to revolutionize the way you look at your life. It's going to revolutionize the way you show up for yourself and for others on a daily freaking basis. This episode is going to change your fucking life. It's going to change your mindset. It's going to change your mindset to be better, to show up. We're going to be talking about breakthroughs today, guys. We're going to be talking about how breaking through pain and how being broken allows you to break through to that next level. How pain and struggle and discomfort and adversity and challenges are the ingredients needed to fucking break through to that next level. I'm here to tell you guys, I have been through a whole lot in my young life. I have seen a lot. I have seen a lot. I'm not one to say I've had it worse than most people. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying for me personally, I've struggled a lot in the last seven, eight years. And I'm telling you, the pain, the struggle, those challenges I've had to overcome have allowed me to level up in my own life. It's allowed me to level up and take the leap to start my own business and take the leap to commit to a relationship that I'm proud to be and that I'm happy and that I'm I'm confident with. And it, it, it allowed me to level up my mindset. It allowed me to level up my body. Right from, from the time I was 10 years old when I picked up my first dumbbell and I started to get in, into running and into the P90X Ab Ripper challenges and all that shit, I knew, I knew I always wanted to level up, to get through to that next level, to break through. But at the time, I didn't realize pain was the number one ingredient. Being broken, getting punched in the face, consistently, relentlessly getting punched in the face is what you need to give you the strength and the drive to break through to that next level. You guys hearing me? Are you, are you guys getting what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? 
you guys have what it takes. Every one of you listening, y'all have the fucking power. It's inside of you. You're fucking worthy and you have that power. You just have to come to a realization that you're worth that power. You're worth expressing that power. You're worth expressing that knowledge and your experience. We all have something to offer. We all have an experience. We all have pain that we've had to overcome. We've all had something to overcome. Whether that was you were addicted to pills or that you were in a toxic relationship or that one of your parents used to beat you or that you your brother was murdered or whatever it is that you had to go through. You've been through pain. I know you have. I know you have. There's no way you'd still be standing here if God didn't put pain in your life. God puts these challenges and he puts these, these harsh levels of, of, of adversity in our life for a specific fucking reason. And I need you guys to understand that today as I'm, as I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to say next. I need you to understand that you're totally worth the pain, the struggle, the challenge. You have the power, but you got to lean into it. You got to step in. As we were saying yesterday on episode 84, you've got to step into that fear. You've got to embrace failure. And today is about breaking through that shit. It's about harnessing that fear, harnessing that failure, harnessing the pain, the pain, bring that pain in. Let that pain marinate in your heart and in your, in your head, in your brain. Because when you can do that, when you can manifest that fucking pain and use it as fuel, I need you guys to use it as fuel. When you can take the pain and not let it go to waste and utilize it as fuel to be, as Steven just said, resilient, there's no way you'll ever give up. There's no way you'll ever back down to future adversity, to future challenges. I'm telling you guys, if you want to level up your mind, your body, your finances, your business, your relationships, if you want to level up your life, you have to be okay with encompassing pain and surrounding yourself with failure and with mistakes and with people that are going to build you up. That's how you break through. That is how you break through. You, you, you take these things and you harness them and you do things like self-talk and affirmations. Like literally guys, I speak to myself. My girlfriend thinks I'm crazy sometimes, but I speak to myself in a positive way. Every morning I say, I am confident. I am capable. I am a phenomenal coach. I am serving the fuck out of my clients. My clients are getting crazy results. I'm, I am working hard to bring on new people, new, new members into my community. I am working hard to change more lives. And I am the fucking one. That's my new thing. I started saying that today. I am the fucking one. Show it to you guys right here. It's literally right here. I am the fucking one. I am the fucking one right here. It's hard to see on Facebook. But I say that shit to myself because even I have self-limiting beliefs. Even I have those inner demons and those inner voices and that inner critic that tells me, Chance, you are not good enough. Chance, you just quit your full-time job and said, I'm going all in with my business. What if it doesn't work, Chance? What if it doesn't work, bud? What are you going to do? You're going to have to go back to a job that you hated to work and move back to a town you didn't enjoy to be in. But I say, fuck that inner voice. I say that inner voice is bullshit. It's bullshit. And you are worth way more than your inner critic. You are way more than your inner critic. That is not you. That is not, that is, that is a false extension of who you think you are. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, that you have to do a little bit more digging you got to dig a little deeper, go a little deeper into the roots of your brain, of who you really are. The answers are there. The answers are there. They're they're in your brain. They're, They're inside of your heart. You just have to do a little bit more digging. It's taken me a long time to realize that I am the fucking one. 
I'm the one to lead the relentless life and to get people, to get men specifically, the bodies, the minds, the confidence that they deserve. Because Stephen, my friend, you deserve what you're getting right now. The life you were living before jumping into the community, that wasn't you, bro. That was not you. That was not for you, that life. You deserved so much more. And once you decided enough is enough, I'm investing in myself and I'm committing to being a better Steven seven weeks ago. I mean, dude, I hear it from you all the time. How, how much better you feel, bro. You, you shut those inner voices off. You committed. You made a choice. You, not me. You made that choice. And look at where you're at seven, eight weeks later. Now imagine six months down the road. Now imagine 12 months down the road. Imagine three years, five years. Ten. Imagine where you can be, bro, when you're 40 years old. That's because you're fucking breaking through. You're breaking through because you made the decision, not me. Steven made the decision that enough was enough and that it was time for a breakthrough. And that's what happens when someone decides enough is enough. You decided you were worthy. And that phone call that we had gave you the reassurance and the validation that you may have needed because sometimes we need validation from, from people that have done what we want to do to tell us you can do it too. Like there's, there's no difference between what I do and what you guys listening or watching to this do. There is zero, zero difference. I am human just like you. And I need you guys on this live, on this podcast to understand that and to harness that and to, 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 to remind yourself chance is no different from me. There is nothing that chance does that I can't do. We can all have and live the life that we truly desire. There's so much more out there for us, but we have to harness the pain. We've got to bring that shit in close. We can't let the pain go to waste. We've got to use that pain as a number one ingredient to break through to the next fucking level. We've got to find a new devil. Every level brings a new devil and we're seeing the same devil over and over and over again. We're living the same day over and over and over again. We're living in that rat race. And I'm trying to get you guys to think about this in a different light. Trying to get you guys to realize that y'all have what it fucking takes. To break through, <laughs> you guys think that I just maybe was born with how I speak or how I convey a message or my body or my mindset or being relentless. I wasn't born with any of that. In fact, as a kid, I was bullied. I fucking hated the way how I looked. I had buck teeth. I got picked on on the bus. I got spit on. Like I was that kid. I had braces. I was never confident. I got pushed into fences by big, big football players. Like I was fucking bullied all the time. My sister, she was bullied. And then I had to start defending her because she came out out of the closet in uh, freshman year of high school to our entire town because she wanted, she was not being someone she wanted to be. And I commend her so much for having the strength to do that, but she got bullied because of it. And not only now did I have to defend myself and deal with my insecurities and my anxiety, but now I had to defend my baby sister. And of course I'm going to prioritize her first before my own needs, but I, that was me. That was literally me. I've had to overcome so much mental shit as a kid. I, I, I never believed in myself. I never thought I was capable and I was worthy. I always thought all the kids around me, the cool kids and the, and the jocks and, you know, the, the, all the guys that got the girls, right? I was never really that guy in high school, believe it or not. You know, I had a few girlfriends, but I was never that cool guy. I was always Mr. Independent and I kind of did my own thing and I isolated myself at home and I started to get into working out. I was always kind of a loner in a way that jumped from group to group. But I didn't realize at the time that if I wanted to break through, I had to just fucking lean into it. Like there's, there's nothing 
there's nothing that changed from when I was 14 to 18 to now at almost 26 years old. There's literally nothing that changed. I just fucking stepped into my power and I realized that I am the fucking one. I am the one. Like it's me. Nothing's going to change my life except for chance. Nothing's going to change Steven's life except for Steven. And same with all my other clients who are making badass fucking progress in their program and in their life. Being relentless is more than a mind and body thing. Being relentless is being confident, is being sure that you are worthy, is leaning in and stepping into your power, is manifesting the life that you deserve and that you truly want. What, what must you have? You're not going to get what you want. You're going to get what you must have. You're going to get what you fucking lean into every day. What are you leaning into on a daily basis? If you're leaning into your job and into the same fucking routine, you're going to get the same goddamn results. If you guys are hearing me. I want to see some fire emojis. Like I, I'm, I'm throwing this down for you guys right now. And I'm trying to get you guys to realize that this is, this can be you. This can be you. Yes. Hashtag manifestation, Steven. Absolutely, brother. If you guys are getting some value from this, I need to see some fire in the, in the comments below. I need to see that I'm not speaking for no reason. I need to see that someone's leaning into my message and that someone's leaning into this passion and this obsession that I spit. I'm trying to get you guys to understand that y'all can fucking do the same thing. You guys can have whatever the fuck you want. Anything you want, you can have, but you must have it. You must become absolutely obsessed and you must desire it on a daily basis. Tony, I see you. Steven, I see you. My guys, yes, you got to lean in, lean in. Be willing to fucking make mistakes. Be willing to fail. It's going to happen. But you guys see this energy that I have. Y'all need to have the same energy. Y'all need this. And if people call you crazy, they don't deserve to be in your circle. They don't deserve to be in your life. If they're going to call you crazy, that's not a real friend. A real friend doesn't make fun of a post that you make. A real friend isn't someone pointing fingers. A real friend is someone that's there for you. A real friend is someone that's going to support you in times of need. It's going to be someone that gives you constructive criticism, but then builds you up after. That's a real friend. That's a real supportive person that you want in your circle. But I'm sorry to tell you guys that as soon as you step into your power, a lot of people that you used to consider friends are going to walk away. They're not going to be there they're not going to be there. You hear successful people talk about this all of the time, that as soon as you start to step into your power, as soon as you start to get a little bit successful, what happens with the, mo with the, with the majority of people, those that are average, they get jealous. They get jealous of your success. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you win. But what they don't realize is that most people, most successful people who are leveling up in their life would really want to see everyone, their close circle, level up with them. That's how I am. Who wants to win alone? I want to win with my tribe. I want to win with my clients. I want to bring them with me. I want to elevate together. I don't want to be, I don't want to be Chance Galloway, owner, CEO of Relentless Life. Like, of course, I I want, I want to be my own, my own boss, my own business owner, but I don't want it to be me and then everyone under. I want it to be us together. Like I, I want it to be a, this is us type of a thing. We, we we're doing this together and we're being recognized together. Like let's fucking win together. And that's a real friend. And in order to break through, you've got to find the people you've got, I'm going to repeat this in order to break through, you've got to find the people. And it's very hard to find people that want you to win, but that wants you to win to get to that next level. You need to find people that want to see you win. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a quote. Some of you may have heard it, some maybe not. But you hang out with nine losers, you'll soon be the 10th. The but if you hang out with nine winners, you'll also soon be the 10th. I don't know if I said that right, but you guys get the gist. You are who you surround yourself with. You are who you surround yourself with. So the environment that you are around, the people you're around, and the things that you bring into your life, that you attract into your life, because I believe in the power of manifestation, literally, literally determine 
whether or not you're going to break through to that next level. I'm in a coaching program with over 1300 online coaches who are changing lives. And I made the decision last year to invest into this program. Why? <laughs> Cause I was sick of living the same life over and over and over again in a town that I didn't want to be in around people. I didn't want to be around, not my family, just saying in general. So what did I do? I decided what's going on, Paul, what's going on, brother. I decided that I was worthy and that I was worth the investment in myself to put out the money that I did for this program. And I'm here to tell you guys, I've already made that back twofold and it's only growing. And it's not like I did it for the money. I did it to, to change my life and to follow my why, to follow my calling. And it's the best decision I've made my entire life. It literally gave me a new opportunity. It gave me the opportunity to wake up and to serve, to wake up and to serve, to wake up and to serve every day relentlessly. And I fucking love it. I love it. I'm obsessed with watching people live a better life. I'm obsessed with recruiting people and telling people that they're fucking worth it if they just put their mind to paper and say and affirm, I am the one. I am worthy. I am a king. I will be king of my own destiny. Like I keep saying, guys, there is nothing different between me and you on this live or podcast. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. Everything I have, I've worked for. I told you where I used to be. Ten years ago, I was bullied. Ten years ago, I hated the way I looked and the way that I acted. I had zero self-confidence. Why do you think I always speak about confidence? Is because I never fucking had it as a kid. I never had confidence as a kid. Ever. And that's why I get emotional sometimes when I get on live here because it's, it, it's so fucking crazy to me that you can make such an incredible transformation if you just put your head down and you fucking work. You've got to invest some emotion into what you do. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. You will get out of anything in life what you decide to put into it. Sometimes it takes, it takes years for the seeds to blossom, to grow, to turn into beautiful roses, but you've got to stay committed because if you can continue to be relentless every single day and put some time aside for you in reminding yourself, you are worthy, you are confident, you are worth it, you are relentless, and you will not give in or give up to any challenge, to any adversity, to anything God puts in front of you, you will fucking demolish it and you will be the best possible and most dominant version of yourself the preceding day. When you have that mentality, I am telling you anything is fucking possible. Anything is possible with that mentality. And that's why I'm completely obsessed with my program because I believe in it so much. It has changed and revolutionized the way I view my own life and my own mindset. It's changed the way I live my life. It's literally given me a new perspective, a new opportunity being relentless, guys, is about having a mentality and belief that you are fucking worth it and that you are the one. You are the one. That's my message today. Y'all are the one. And to break through, you've got to lean in to that statement. Lean in and say to yourself, I am the fucking one. I am the one. I'm done working for somebody else. I'm done taking this this abuse. I'm done living for other people. I am the one. I fucking deserve it. I want to see I deserve it in the comments. I want to see whoever's listening and receiving this message right now. I want to see I deserve it in the comments. Facebook, Instagram, I deserve it in the comments. Who's listening? I deserve it in the comments below. I want to see who's listening and who really believes Who's vulnerable enough to go in the comments and show me so I can shout you guys out. Show me who has the confidence and who has the self-belief after this message today in this podcast that you are the one. I want to see. I want to see who's the one. Who's got it going on? Who now believes in themselves? Who now believes that they know they're in control of their own destiny. You're in control of your future. You've got to say it though. You've got to speak it. 
You've got to create that reality for yourself. Why do you think I do this every day, guys? Why do you think I do this? Why do you think I get on live here every single day? Because these things need to be heard. This message of breaking through pain and breaking through to the next level and, and affirming that you're the fucking one. I heard that from my mentor, I think yesterday in one of his lives. And I was like, mind fucking blown. Like, holy shit, he's right. I am the one. And I'm trying to relay that message to you guys and say, you are the one. Y'all are the one. You guys got to lean into it. You got to lean into it. Got to lean in to the life that you want to live. You, 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 there's no, your life literally depends on it. I saw, I saw one of those motivational quotes today on Facebook. You got to chase your dreams. Like your life depends on it. You got to embrace pain. Like your life depends on it because it does, because it does. We, we have a finite amount of time, finite, meaning it's not limitless. There's a limit to how much time we have left. There is a limit. It's a, hourglass straight on its head, straight on its face. And that sand is slowly sifting through to the other side of that hourglass. I'm 20, I'm going to be 26 in two months. End of September, I'll be 26. And it feels like just yesterday I graduated high school. It feels like just yesterday I moved to Florida with my family when I was 10 years old. That was 16 years ago. Where did the time go? <laughs> Time just, it flies. Time flies. It, it's nonstop. It, it, it's relentless. Time is relentless. That's what relentless is. Relentless literally it, it describes a person or thing or an event, just like we see in Mother Nature, just like the ocean. That's why I always like to think of the ocean when thinking about the word relentless, the waves on the beach. It is an action that will never quit regardless of the situation around it. Just kind of made that up in my head. Being relentless is not quitting regardless of its environment or the situation that it's in. The ocean, the waves that hit the beach will never stop. Time will never stop. No matter what, you can't stop time. Just like you can't stop somebody that is fucking relentless. You can't stop me. Nothing will, nothing will get in my way. Literally nothing because I've been, I've literally woken up for the last seven years and had to face pain, tightness, discomfort, mental anguish, depression, anxiety, self-confident issues, body dysmorphia. I've lost over 20 pounds of muscle. I've literally for seven years straight every day had to go through this. So I know that if I've had to gone through something as difficult as this, I've had to overcome my own demons for seven straight fucking years. There is nothing, nothing that can get in my way of living the life that I want to live. There's nothing that can get in my way of serving my clients to the deepest fucking level. There is nothing that will stop me from protecting and providing for my family. There is not one thing on this planet earth that will stop me. God, okay. God is about the only thing that I know has power over me because he's my creator. He's my father. And I will always give glory to God and I will always pray and, and thank God for my blessings and pray that he leads me down the right path and continues to use me as a vessel to change lives and to help people and creating, you know, the body of their dreams and creating a relentless mindset and to just being good people and, and helping to serve other people on their journey. That's about the only thing that can, that can stop me if he chooses to. But even that, I will continue to push and move and grind and hustle. There's nothing getting in my way. And you have to have and adopt the same mentality. You have to. You must. You have got to adopt the same principles is what I'm saying to you guys today on live. You've got, you've got to level up. You've got to, you've got to have a breakthrough. You've got to have some realization that's going to put you in the position to 
to get to that next level. Pain causes breakthroughs. Being broken causes breakthroughs. Why do you think I had the, the confidence to quit my job? I still had those thoughts and still have those self-limiting beliefs, but I, I said, fuck it. And I went all in and now I get to wake up every day and come out to my kitchen table. Granted, it's not a really an office yet, but you do what you have to do in the beginning. And I get to serve people and I get to change lives and inspire people to live up to who they're really meant to be. Like y'all are really meant to be something special. God made you for a reason. God has intended for you to be alive. God does not make mistakes. He doesn't make mistakes. I will say it louder. God doesn't make mistakes. God loves all of you. He loves every single one of us, even the, the bad guys. God doesn't make mistakes. God doesn't birth evil man, people. Man make, makes evil man. Men did that to humans did that, not God. God doesn't show imperfection. We do as humans. And when we can set our, our faith and carve a path that involves him, that involves his love, and we can harness that and be inspired by that and be grateful to have breath and to be grateful to have a heartbeat, and to have thought, that's all that we need to realize we are fucking worthy. That is it. So you've got to step into that power, into who you're truly supposed to be. Dig deep, dig deep into your mind, use meditation, manifest, figure out what's up here, figure out what you're meant to do. If you're not doing something that you absolutely love, get out of it or go part-time, or invest two to three hours a week into yourself, into your own business, into your own side hustle, into something you want to do. So that eventually, after a year, you've invested enough time to where you can go part-time and you can put more time into that side hustle or more time into whatever it is that you truly want to do with your life. You got to wake up. You got to wake up and realize you are worthy. You are worth it. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. But to break through, you've got to harness the pain. You've got to embrace the struggle and the challenges and the adversity. And when you can do that, you're going to start to live the life you were designed to live. With the relentless mindset, relentless mentality, and being able to harness pain, to embrace struggle, to let you break through to that next level. When you lean into that pain and lean into that fear, lean into that failure. That's when you have a breakthrough. That's when you realize you have the confidence to fucking take it to that next level. The only way I'm going to take my business to the next level is by telling myself I'm bringing my business to that next level. Ain't no way I'm going to sign more clients and change more lives. If I don't see that up here first, you've got to see it here first. You've got to envision it. Six weeks ago, I had three, four, five clients, and now I just signed my 10th because I set a goal. I said in my head, I want 10 clients. Now I want 20 clients. I want to change 20 lives. What's after that? Well, 30. What's after that? 40 or 50, then 100, then 200. And we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep progressing. We're going to keep helping people because that's my calling, but that's me. What is? What do you do? What do you want to do to change your life? What do you want to do to help inspire and change other people? You got to figure that out for yourself. I'm not in your head. You are. Dig deep. Figure out your why. Embrace pain. Lean into, fa into failure and fucking level up. Break through the pain to level up in your own life. You guys got this shit. That's all I got for you guys today. That is it. That is all. So, I want to thank you guys sincerely for tuning in, for taking time out of your day today to listen to my message. It means the world to me. If you guys enjoyed my message today, if you enjoyed today's conversation about breaking through and leaning into failure and leaning into fear and, and leveling up your mind, body, relationships, finances, and just being a fucking total badass in your life and realizing that you are worth it, 
You guys can leave a review on the Apple Podcast app. I don't think you can on Spotify, but if you would like to and you really enjoyed this message, that helps out the show tremendously with getting this message to more people. If you guys feel like you learned something today, and like I said, you you want to spread that message to more people, the best way to do that is by leaving a rating and review on the Apple Podcast app. So I'll leave that there. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys tomorrow. We have another two days of lives this week. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, same time, 12 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday. And until then, peace out, Alphas. We will see you then. Let's freaking go. Good ass podcast. That was awesome. I really, guys, seriously, like, enjoy this so much. I enjoy getting on here and like feeling called to deliver a message. When I feel called to deliver something, it's, it's such a powerful feeling. And like I said in the podcast, guys, I, there's no difference between what I do and what you guys do. I just realized and leaned in to who I was supposed to be. I realized I was worth it. I realized that if I can just harness enough confidence in myself and in what I'm saying, that people might start to actually fucking listen. Guys, just wait. Wait till the end of the year. Wait till we're at. Wait till where we're at by the end of the year. I'm telling you guys right now, this is a movement. This is a fucking movement. I've been waiting to do this for the last five years. I've been waiting to go all in on my online business, on my lives, on my podcast, on everything that I've created, on my clients for literally five to six years now. I've been in school. Then I went all in with my family roofing company for three years. I gave my time there. Finally, at 25, I made the commitment and I made the pursuit that I was fucking literally worth it. I was worth it because I know I have a calling. I realized my calling. I fucking realized it at 16 years old, but it took me 10 years to put things into action. But I realized I'm meant for much more. And I want you guys to realize that that can be you too. So if you guys get anything from today's live episode, I want you guys to realize that, that you are worth way more than you're getting in your life currently. And obviously, if you guys are happy with where you're at and you're totally content and you have no other further like places you want to go, that's great. Like most people, a lot of people aren't like that. And I commend you for finding that happiness for yourself. And like Gary Vee always says this, he always says like, I'd much rather be the guy that is happy as shit making $84,000 a year than the guy who's make the, that has $3 million in his bank account that's miserable as, as fuck that just got out of a a toxic relationship. Like I would, he, he always says like, I'd rather be the guy making 80,000, 84,000 a year. That's super freaking happy. That gets to show up to his kids, kids, soccer game, soccer games and stuff like that. Like he gets to be there. Like it's about being happy and figuring out what makes you happy. So don't think I'm here like slaving away the point that, you know, you should, you should try to be super successful or be a millionaire or have a six pack or, compete in a bodybuilding show. Like that's not what I'm here preaching. I'm preaching to literally find happiness. Like this message is solely for the person that is unhappy in their life. And that's why I created my program. That's why I have the relentless life one-on-one coaching program and community. Cause there's people, there's men specifically out there struggling with being happy because they know deep down, they might not want to admit it to themselves or to others, but they know deep down that they should be giving more. And they're the people I'm looking for. They're the people I know I was called to, to, to inspire and to help. So if that's you and you are have seen or listened to this podcast and you want more help and you want to take it to that next level and you need help breaking through and realizing that you are worthy, I want you to fucking DM me. DM me. I'm like super inspired and called to, to say this and to do what I do. I want you, if this is you, I want you to shoot me a DM, say the word alpha relentless. I really don't care what you say, but so I know that you're serious about making a change in your life. And that after hearing this message, you're like, holy shit, chance is right. I'm living the same life over and over and over again. And it's time to make a commitment to myself and invest in myself, my mindset, my body, my confidence to be a better person and to show up. Like the relentless life is much more 
than a fitness plan and a meal plan. Like it's, it's much more than that. It's a, it's a community. It's a community of men that are striving to be their best selves, that are striving to be better. Esteban, I see you, bro. I see you, bro. 100%, dog. 100%. It's much more than that. Being relentless is much more than a fucking fitness or meal plan. <laughs> so much more than that. I want to tell, I just need to get that out there to you guys on live right now and tell you that so much more than that. We're changing lives. We're changing lives. And it, fucking motivates. It drives me. It doesn't motivate me. Motivation is bullshit. It drives me. It drives me to seek more people who want that change. Who want, I mean, who's, who's in, who's committed, who's committed to themselves. I know Steven is. I know Steven is. He's on my lives every day. Facts. Let's go. Let's go, bro. He's on my lives every day. He's in our fate free Facebook community every day. He's on Marco every day, hyping the guys up. He's committed to not only himself, but to the rest of the guys in our group. And I see you. I see you show up. I see you putting the work, bro. That's why I'm going to have you on the podcast soon. We're going to do a either a virtual or in-person podcast. We're going to figure something out. And we're going to get you on. We're going to get you on. And we're going to talk about your experience with the Relentless Life program so far over the last seven weeks. Talk about your experience, bro. Talk about the shift in mentality that you've had. It, it's, it, I'm so proud, man, of you and of the other guys who are having – crazy progress the way you are and leveling up and break. Like you had a breakthrough, Steven, Steven guys literally had a breakthrough. He realized like on the phone call that he had with me, he realized like, Holy shit. Like I'm talking to this guy right now that is telling me like, these are my goals. And this is the reason why I'm not getting to my goals and I'm all in. And he literally decided like, I'm going to do this for Steven, not for Steven's mom, not for Steven's dad or his grandparents, or if he has siblings or his girlfriend or whoever it is, he decided for Steven, for himself, on the phone with me seven, eight weeks ago, that he was worth it. He was worth it. And when you're in a state of mind of I'm fucking pumped right now and I want to commit, that's when you have to go all in. Because what happens, guys, is when you fucking start to backpedal and backtrack on those thoughts, what happens? We overthink. It's human nature to overthink. It's human nature to overthink. That's why when I have someone on the phone and they're kind of iffy about it, like they want to do it, but they're not sure, I try to tell them, like, as soon as you get off the phone with me, you're going to backpedal. That's human. I, I know that's how it is because it happens all the time. People backpedal. They overthink. Well, what if this, you start to play out all the what ifs, right? We have what if scenarios. Oh, well, what if this happens? And well, what if I can't, you know, I just, I'm tired or I don't have the energy. I don't want to waste the money. Like, well then are you, are you in or are you out? Like, like pick one. Like you're either, you're fucking committed. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm fucking committing. I'm alpha or I'm out or I'm living the same life. That's the real risk. Living the same life is the real risk. There is no risk in investing in yourself. What you lose some money, maybe if it doesn't work out, but at least you said you, you tried. At least you took that leap, that step, and you tried something new. There's no way you don't come out of it learning something new. And maybe that learning something new will give you a perspective to start to change things in your life. Get rid of toxic people. Start to surround yourself with better people, places, and things that are going to help you to break through and level up. That's what I don't get with people. You, yeah. you, say, you, want, you say you want a breakthrough. You say you want a body. You say you want a new mindset. You say you want all this. But when it comes down to making that commitment, you back out. Most people back out. And I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy. With, with my coaching program that I invested in, I literally told my mentor, probably for six months, he was, he was speaking to me over, over Instagram Messenger. And I kept telling him no. I kept giving him excuses for why I just couldn't do it right now. And I, there's, there's no difference in how my body feels now compared to then. I literally just said, fuck it. I'm all in. Only difference is I was just like, okay, I'm all in coach. What, what's the next step? What do I do? Here's my investment. Here's my money. What's the next step? I'm fucking in. And that got me 10 clients that got me to help change lives. And am I making the same amount of money as I was in the roofing company? Fuck no but I'm not doing it for them. I told you guys already, I don't do this. It's not for money. 
it's to change people's lives, change people's perspectives. It's for me to be happy because now I have a sense of fulfillment and I'm doing what God created me to do. And it's to make the world a better place. It's to make the world a better place. Yes, bro. Definitely an excuse for sure. This should have no bearing on monetary value. This is a game changer for life overall. Absolutely, brother. Okay, best investment you made, I believe. You invested in chance. Yes, and that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. You have to invest in yourself. You've got to invest in yourself. I'm not, I'm not just speaking with my, with my program. Like It doesn't have to be with me. I'm just trying to get you guys to realize if you want to change, go seek people that have done what you want. Go seek people that are living the life you want to live. Seek people with the body that you want or the mindset that you want or the job career that you want or the relationship that you want. Figure out, study them, study their mindset, study their brains. That's all I got for you guys today. I got a bunch of shit to get done, but I want to thank you guys sincerely for hopping on live here today. I told you I was going to bring the fire. We can only beat a, horse, a dead horse so much. So I'm, we're going we're gonna to leave it at that for breakthroughs, but I hope you guys seriously got something from today's message. Um, you know, even with me, when I speak about these things, I learn myself. So it's not only you guys learning, but I learn as well. I learn through, through speaking, through language, through body language. You know, I, I learn myself. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to be here with me today. I really, truly appreciate it. You guys, um, are watching this on the replay. You can also catch the podcast, the audio version on the Apple podcast app or Spotify, as I always let you guys know. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, um, tomorrow, 12 p.m. Uh, I'm going to be letting you guys know the topic probably tomorrow morning on what we're going to be talking about. Maybe tonight I'll put a video out on Instagram and Facebook. So thank you guys so much once again. Have a great rest of your fucking Wednesday. Let's win the day, baby. Let's win. Let's invest in ourselves. And let's just let's be freaking relentless. That's what it's about, adopting that relentless mentality. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all. Peace, love. Stay fucking alpha. Let's go.